Many of you watching tonight open your hearts and your wallets to help a local theater that specializes in helping children with special needs. Now, as we've reported, the theater's bank account was cleaned out as a result of fraud. But the amount raised by concerned community members to save this theater has nearly quadrupled since our story aired. Eight on your side, investigator Walt Buteau joins us live in studio. Keith and Stacey, as with many hacked account claims, the customer and bank disagree sharply on where the money went. This time, thousands of dollars was suddenly gone, possibly closing the curtains for the final time on a local theater for children with special needs. After brightening this Davenport stage with a fairy tale, there were tears from the young touch of drama actors. Oh, I was in tears with them. I, <laughs> I was bawling. But then seeing the kids cry, I guess to me it just really made me realize it really is important to them. Heidi Polino raised the curtains for the first time about a year ago to give her child with special needs a chance on stage. This is our mirror mirror on the wall. <laughs> Word spread, and now about half the cast has a range of behavioral and medical issues. The program is so rare, some travel nearly an hour to get here. We had a few say that uh, they were bullied. Um, this is the first place that they feel like they belong, first place they've actually made friends. But Polino claims a case of alleged fraud nearly closed down the theater. Records she provided indicate about $6,000 was taken from her business account from a New York location with online bank-based Bluevine. So she was never in New York. Bank spokesperson Kelsey Miller said she's limited on what she can discuss, but she added, that said, our team has investigated the situation thoroughly and found no indication of fraudulent activity. Polino had all but given up until donations started coming in from parents, audience members, and eight on your side viewers after our first report aired Friday. We received two um, $500 donations just from people from the news that I know of. And there were other offers, including this from a viewer who wrote about her son. He's in the eighth grade and would like to use some of his savings to help save the program. That's incredible. That's a, a very good kid with a very good upbringing, um, with a great heart. Not enough yet to save it, but now there's hope for a happy ending. And I know my students would help if I asked and if we can come up with some ideas and some fundraisers for sure, and that's definitely what we're working on. Blue Vine spokesperson told us the bank takes account security very seriously and community communicates with its customers about how to protect their deposits. But so far, the company is not budging on its stance on a touch of drama's account and the missing money. Mm. But in, in terms of what's been raised so far and what they hope to raise, is that going to do much for the theater going forward, do you think? So we're told that uh, her hope is that she's aimed at saving the rest of this season and raising more to turn the lights on back in the fall but she has already canceled the summer camp so they do need more help mm -hmm. and again there's hope that maybe blue vine will take another look at this mm -hmm. and investigate uh, do we have this information on your story where Absolutely. people can get involved and do that yes, sir. All, right, all right thank you all right, all right. and sure. if you have something you'd like wall to investigate call our eight on your side helpline 1-800-338-0808